G'day everyone, Adam here going overland. We've got Joe, Hayley, Larissa. And together we're traveling around Australia in an old patrol and camper trailer, trying to find the best spots, the cheapest spots, and just having a great time as a family. On a budget. Join the adventure, <laughs> give us a thumbs up, it really helps us, and I really appreciate everyone watching. Um, it's really hard to get back to everyone. We've, we've in and out of reception quite a lot. So yeah, leave us a comment. And um, yeah, this week we're traveling from Lambert Center to Cooper Petty. To Cooper Petty, and then we're gonna head south and um, sneak our way down to the um, to the Nullarbor and the coastline. All right, so I hope you like the video, subscribe, follow, and um, hope you enjoy the adventure. Thanks guys, cheers. All right, we made it, South Australia. Yay! It's been over 30 days. <laughs> I'm so glad I'm taking time off work to experience this with them. Because they grow up pretty quick. All right, we've made it to Cooper Petey. Yeah, it's what, what an interesting place this is. Good evening everyone. So tonight is pizza night. So um, we travel with uh, Billy and a camp oven, a Dutch oven. And whenever we got firewood and we can have a fire. And you will not believe he killed a spider and its guts went all over my legs. I killed a big spider. I splattered him. He was, he was um, pretty deadly. And it splayed Joe two meters away all over his legs. And Joe freaked out. So I do apologize, Joe. <laughs> It was, it was funny, comical, and horrifying at the same time. And, and sad. <laughs> just, just picture Joe running backwards and forwards, screaming, laughing, and crying at the same time. Anyway, we're going to have a great night. We're going to have pizza, like I said, a couple of cold drinks. It's been a long, hot day. Mm. It's been a hard drive. Mm. Very mm. rewarding getting here. So we've got Cape York done, bottom of Tassie done, center, mm. Lambert Center of Australia done. Right now. We've still got Still Point. And we still got the one that's closest to home, the eastern, easternmost point of Australia. So, <laughs> thanks, buddy. It's a bit dark for that. All right, so um, we're gonna chill back and um, have some dinner. Thanks, guys. some school work in the car today while we sort of make up some kilometers. This is a really nice road compared to what we've been traveling on. So um, we're all in a good mood. We're all well rested. And um, yeah, we'll hit some bitumen finally after, I don't know how many days, four days or something of rough roads. Yeah, I think uh, from Fink to Colbra, I think it's around 137 kilometers. So I think we've got about 100, 100 to go. Yep. So, I tell you what, those flies this morning, I um, I made my I made myself a coffee for the car, and then a coffee in a mug that I brought with us. Um, put a bowl over the cup, thinking, oh, that should keep them out. When I took the bowl off my coffee mug, there was about 30 flies floating on the top of my coffee. So. So we had a uh, beautiful night at Lambert Centre of Australia. Once the sun went down, it was just magic. There was no mosquitoes, there was no flies or bugs. It's a warm night, and I really enjoyed it. We were there by ourselves, 
Um, a lot of people get a bit worried about camping by themselves, but once you get used to it, it's something really enjoyable. So we had a beautiful night, had some pizzas for dinner, kids had a play, we had some charades, and yeah, it was magic. Slept in a bit this morning, had a quick breakfast, then the flies woke up and um, we packed up and got out of there. So if you're new to our videos, um, we're traveling around Australia on a budget. Uh, we've got a couple of months off work. Well, I've had to resign from work. Larissa's got leave. Uh, the kids, we're doing some homeschooling with the kids. And uh, yeah, we're trying to have a great adventure. A lot of it's off grid. So we're driven halfway across Australia. And in that time, we've only stayed at one place where we've had power. The rest, we've all been off grid. And so far, the system's holding up really well, it is. So we're south of Alice Springs now. We've done about a 660 kilometer loop, snaking our way down south through Fink. Um, probably about 600 kilometers of that has been rough dirt tracks. A prickle, a pretty bad idea. Um, yeah, status report, car's doing really well. No leaks in the power steering as of yet. Um, trailer's holding up really well. Um, no real issues, nothing's come loose. Uh, all that prep work that we've done has really paid off. Um, just, you know, making sure everything's 100%. Really glad we got the new exhaust on. We've seen about two dozen exhaust pipes strewn across the tracks. We've seen one car with the rear axle being ripped off. Um, yeah, tires littering the track. Every 100 meters there's a, there was a blowout. But we've had no tire issues, so um, let your tires down, keep your speed down, and keep your eye out for sharp stuff on the track. Yeah, and keep But your have eye a look at this, like little tires. mini Olgas. Wow, it's quite a view up here. That must be a Colgra. The Stuart Highway one's up there to Alice Springs, south to Adelaide. All right, we made it, South Australia. Yay! It's been over 30 days. <laughs> <laughs> Lost count of how many kilometers? It's been a thousand kilometers, no, 2,000 kilometers of rough oh, dirt roads. Oh, yeah. Plenty of highway and. Um, good. Yeah, so we're going to shoot down the highway. We won't get to Cooper Beauty tonight. We'll, um, we'll find a free camp yeah. somewhere on the side of the highway. There's a couple of different options, so we'll check it out. Yeah. So, exciting stuff. Crossing state borders. We made it. Finally. <laughs> Heading south down the Stewart Highway, we just got a free camp, uh, Agnes Creek rest area. Uh, another beautiful spot, a few flies about, but you're in the outback. We've, uh, if you notice, we cut a stubby cooler in half for the top of the cans, keep the flies out of them. It's all you can do. Um, yeah, free spot, beautiful area, lots of wildlife around here, lots of birds and um, flies. <laughs> so kids are excited to get out of the car and have a play. Tag, you're it. Tag. Oh, don't hit my beer. Get out of here. <laughs> oh, he's too fast for me. How, do, how is it when you feel, you know, you get to the point in your life where your son is faster than you running? You sort of think, oh, I'm getting to an old man now. So, hey, here he comes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna have some fun. We'll see you in the morning. Uh, it'd be a pretty boring night. We're just gonna have hot dogs. We're gonna cook them in the camp oven on the yeah, fire. Hot dogs. Don't need much firewood for that. Um, yeah, we're gonna chill back. Yum. Hopefully, we'll get up early and hit the road. Get in the Cooper PD about lunchtime. One sec. I don't know what he thinks is fun, but <laughs> I'm trying to clean out the car. Where every day there's a bit of a routine when we stop at camp, try to clean out the kids' filth from the back Today seat, we're and. Um, the amount of dust that we've trekked into the camper trailer over the last uh, couple of campsites, it's quite dusty, so sweep it out, vacuum it out.
Yeah, so we're about 20 k's out of Cooper Pedy, and you just see this big contrast between the red earth on top and all the mines where they pull all the rock out, all the ore out. All right, we've made it to Cooper Pedy. Hey. Yeah, it's what, what an interesting place this is. Um, just the drive in is pretty awesome. Yeah, Lots so. There's even underground cafe. Underground cafe. A there's, lot a, of underground there's a spaceship we're going to check out. You've got to pay for water here. We've got a couple of nights, so we've paid for a site so the kids can have a play and a swim and we can kick back. We can take the trailer off and- um, Do some washing properly. Yeah, explore yeah. the area. It's our second night or second place we've had to pay for in eight, well over a month. So um, yeah, you got to get an iconic photo though. Have a look at this. Whatever you do, you have to be careful of holes. So even if you're over there somewhere, that says do not run because there's unmarked holes everywhere. Yeah, so holes everywhere. There's lots of mines. <laughs> what is it? Old Old timers mine. It's Old -timers. Art museum. Yeah. It's Hello. Ow. <laughs> What is it? What is it? What is it? This one. Oh. Oh. Carl Will. Carl Will's. How do they do this? No, it doesn't. I'm pretty sure that sign said don't go this way. Oh my god, I think that's poison. Oh. Looks like Frankenstein. Yeah, it does. Ooh. Oh. Where are we, Hallie? Mm -hmm. Crocodile Harry's. Crocodile Harry's. Grab a little look. Hey. Okay, from Crocodile Harry's. Is that a thing? Where's the crocodile? Oh, there's the crocodile. Yes. <laughs> this is the easiest way to look. So in the middle of uh, Cooper Beattie, there's a canoodling area where you can go look and um, fossicking for your own stones and gems. Larissa's already found one. Is that one there? No? You got it, did you? Um, Good morning, everyone. Good morning. We've left Cooper Beatty. Kids are doing some schoolwork at the moment. Yeah, they are doing some sound waves at the moment. Yeah, so we're heading south down the Stuart Highway. And we're going to take sneak into the back way through, what's the name of that national park? Do you remember? Uh, Lake Gerd Gerdner. Yeah. Uh, Lake Gerdner National Park. I've got a few kids. They've, they've done a few um, land speed records on the lake. It's a dry lake there. Salt, salt, salt lake, lake. something, so, yeah. Um, Interesting. I reckon the patrol will make a few records today on the lake. <laughs> Just most, getting there. Most fuel <laughs> used. Um, no, fuel stone, all right. We're sitting on about, I don't know, probably about 18 litres per 100 when we're on the highway. But the funny thing with the old patrol, it gets better fuel economy on the rough dirt roads when you're going a bit slower. So, yeah. Um, <laughs> Everything's going pretty well. Cooper Pedy was pretty nice. Yeah, there's a lot, there's a lot of different things to see in Cooper Pedy. Like you have to kind of, I don't know. I just talk to any local that in any shop that we went to. I'm like, what do we need to see that we shouldn't miss? Um, but look, you know what? With any city at the moment, you seem to spend a lot of money. Yeah, um, tourist things cost money. Like everything, definitely gets a bit more expensive. Um, Pay to see stuff. Yep, so we got some kilometers to do. It's about 120 k's before we turn off onto the dirt road again. So. Yeah, so we're heading towards a little town, Kingunya, and then there's a dirt track that will take that takes us down to Lake Gairdner National Park, which is free camping there as well. Alright, so we uh, left Kupapiti this morning, and the temperature difference this morning is crazy. Uh, we've reached the dirt road, um, which is like a shortcut to WA. We're just going to air down. That's yeah, cold. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Well, this looks like a good road. It does look like a good road. It doesn't look too bad. We're still going to air down a little bit, but you've got to love seeing a sign that says, warning, remote areas ahead. Check this sign out. That, like this little dirt road that we're taking now. <laughs> the little dirt road that we're taking now is 
four-wheel drive only, it's saving us about 200 kilometers, yep. I think. Yeah, so, um, but you can't complain with that. But the road's actually really, really good. Um, I don't know, we've aired down thinking <laughs> that it was going to be, um, that it, thinking it was going to be a bit rougher than what it is, but it's actually it's quite a nice road, really, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So it saves us about two hours. It is, um, I should say, it, it isn't a dry weather only road. We looked at all the restrictions. It didn't say anywhere dry weather only. The road was open, so it's only a few spits of rain. We can hear the cars not tearing up the track, so um, if it was tearing up the track, we would have stick to the bitumen and water because um, yeah, there's nothing worse than people tearing up the local roads. Oh, lunchtime in the outback. Now, yeah, we're heading out of the outback now, so heading towards the coast in yeah Australia. look the outback's been a great experience what do you reckon Haley? have you loved it everything but the flies, the flies yeah it's it's harsh conditions um yes flies we've had heat waves cold snaps a little bit of rain freezing um, pools. yeah bad roads good roads we've had breakdowns we've had we've had everything it's been Tires a, exploding but not not ours nice. yeah yeah um we've helped people out with um Overheating cars and giving them water and a tourist with flat tires pump these tires up It's been explosion. It's definitely an experience if you've never been out to, in the outback, you know Maybe a tag-along tour or something first yeah. up or a group of friends uh, But once you've been out here you get addicted. It's beautiful. It is big sky country It's about well today. It's a bit cloudy, but normally big sky country. So yeah, haley has got her little toy She's made up a little kite yeah. Um yeah so we've got a bit of rain yeah so you got to watch the the road conditions and um for any closures or if you're permitted on the road if there's wet weather about um we've been on the Strzelecki track once where a storm went in front of us and the road turned to an ice skating ring there were about half a dozen trucks stuck on a flat road that's how slippery the roads can get so be prepared if something like that happens be prepared just to sit it out maybe a day or two they dry up pretty quick and um, don't panic, stay with your car, make sure you've got plenty of water, plenty of food, and just, just wait it out, that's all you can do if something like that happens. All right, so we're gonna have a bite to eat and um, continue south and we'll find somewhere nice along this road to camp. There's a few national parks and lakes and things like that. Yep. Run faster, little boy, run faster. Oh no! What's taxi? Right. Taxi is like, you can't get tagged. Like, you have to go. Go, let me go, let me go. Go! Taxi! 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 Get him. He's too quick. He's going. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. He's like spider <laughs> So this is another free camp on Wiki Camp, Skull Tanks Dunes. Skull Tank Dunes, I think it's called. So it's behind an old stockyard shed. There's some dunes up in the background. Everything's a little bit damp. They must have had some rain today. Um, so yeah, but um, there's a little bit of blue sky off in the distance, so sun might come out. I tell you what, at times like these, I love the fact that we live in Australia. Look, we got this place to ourselves. It's free. It's spectacular. The kids are in a ball. There's, there's no flies. There's no mozzie. It is beautiful. Look at this. This is what we live for, these places. Not places like Cooper Pedy where it's just full of touristy stuff and expensive. I know they're nice, you know, for a little bit, but um, this is what we get a kick out of, this sort of stuff. Have a look. You found me, all right! <laughs> <laughs> hey Joe, you having fun now? Yeah. Yeah, this is what it's all about, eh buddy? Yeah. <laughs> Getting muddy. For a kid, all it's a bit, 
all it's about is having fun and getting muddy. They don't care about it being cold or hot or anything like that. They just want to get muddy and have fun. And I'm so glad we've taken time off work to experience this with them. Because they grow up pretty quick. I need this. What'd you make, Hallie? Sandcastle. <laughs> Girls only! <laughs> you waiting for the tide to come in, are you? Get <laughs> a long wait. That's... <laughs> <laughs> Someone's got way too much energy. I've been in the car way too long today. Hey. <laughs> 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 Kids are having a good night, good play. It was an amazing night, wasn't it? It was so quiet. You could hear the condensation dri dripping on the table early morning. Yeah, it was um, really interesting. In the desert, normally there's no condensation at all, but with that rain yesterday, have a look at under our awning. <laughs> I already shook a bit. That's all condensation. It didn't rain during the night. <laughs> Crunchy. It looks beautiful. Oh yeah, you can see really see the salt crystals. Hey. Wow. Hey, it's ice. I hope I don't fall through the ice. It's crunchy, don't fall over. Is it ice? Oh, it's ice. <laughs> this is actual ice. This is literally ice. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be forgiven for thinking that there's water here from a distance, eh? Hey? Yeah. So we didn't drive very far today, only about an hour. 40 k's? <laughs> 30 k's. Not long at all. Yeah. Um, look at this. Beautiful salt lake. All alone, free. 
kids having a ball. It's nice to have these down days where you, you don't travel much and yeah, you can kick back and really soak it in. It's like a sun, feels like a Sunday. <laughs> but it's Tuesday. I think it's Tuesday. Tuesday? Tuesday. Don't know. We've lost track of the days. Yeah. All right, we're going to kick back and have a nice hot lunch and mellow out. Beautiful. I've always wanted to go to like um, Lake Eyre. And we went to the southern tip, but it looked, I don't know, this looks more impressive, the colour. Oh, yeah. Mmm, really nice. How beautiful is this spot? I mean, for us in Australia, we don't get a lot of snow or anything, but it looks like ice, like a frozen lake. It's absolutely <laughs> beautiful, isn't it? Beautiful. Magic. Hey guys, what do you reckon? Well, it makes me warm this... my eyes water. <laughs> <laughs> Kids getting some lemonade. This is, um, keeps getting better and better, this trip, doesn't it? Yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, the, amount, the places we can find and to think we don't have to pay for this site. Mm. We're all off grid here, so. And next week, mm. there's the sea line, sea line column. Sea line colony. Sea line. That'll be tomorrow. We'll get there tomorrow afternoon Maybe, if any yeah. luck. We'll see how we go. Yeah. We got 200, 300 k's to go. Yep, yeah. kids had a great rest today. Good play, didn't you? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yep. All right, we're gonna kick back, have some pizza again tonight, have a fire. All right, guys, hope you liked the video. Give us a thumbs up, really helps us out. There's more videos coming next week as we travel south towards the coastline and then we'll head west towards Western Australia, cross the Nullarbor and see all the spectacular things there is along the coastline. Cheers, guys. Thanks for watching.